Um, my family is a great family, but like all families, we have issues. Um, and I think the biggest issue with my family is that we don't really talk about anything. Everything was kind of swept under the rug. Um, and the way that I coped with that was alcohol. Um, and it made me numb to everything. And it felt good until it didn't. Um, my family couldn't really handle my drinking. And um, that's when I decided to leave. It's hard being homeless. Um, you never know where you're gonna sleep. Um, in the winter, it's really cold. In the summer, it's hot. There's, there are respite places, but even they don't really want you there, especially because uh, they know that, you know, you either are using or have used, and it's, it's difficult. It's really difficult. I slept mostly on bus stops, in parks, on park benches. Um, wherever I could. I stole for money um, and did a lot of things that I'm not proud of in order to get the cash for drugs. I needed to be surrounded by brothers who were going through the same thing. I didn't think that being on my own was the best decision for me. Um, after recovery, I just thought that um, it, I knew that it wasn't good. So I needed to be around people who got me and who loved Christ. And um, this is where I ended up. So I like that I have a support system here. Um, it's very easy for me to go and knock on somebody's door, another brother, and say, hey, this is what's going on in my personal life, this is what's going on at work, um, and it helps keep me grounded. It helps me to remember where I came from um, and how I can help the community. God has given me hope. He's given me hope for my future and hope for the present. I would tell another user that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it's not all bad. You just need to get out of your own way. Um, let God in, and when you do, he will show you the way. <laughs>